Welcome again to the 101st Winchester Invitational Tournament. And coverage for you on Central Illinois Sports. This is game eight of eight here on game number one, and it's the Triopia Meridos of Chambersburg, Virginia Trojans against Carbonville, the sixth seed versus the 14th seed. Alongside John Hull and Damon Emmerich, I'm Charlie Hull, and this is the Great Rivers Bank pregame show. Final game, we've seen some dandies throughout the day. We'll recap what has happened so far in the tournament and also preview the matchup between the uh, Trojans and the Cavaliers on the Great Rivers Bank pregame show. Go team, go. Great Rivers Bank has a digital banking app worth cheering for. Move your money, pay your bills, deposit your checks. Hooray, hooray. Set up a budget, manage your debit card, set up account alerts, and so much more. Our digital banking will give you a reason to stand up and cheer for banking. Learn more at greatriversbank.bank. Great Rivers Bank is an equal housing lender, member FDIC. Seed selection is one of the important decisions required to achieve yield goals. Logan AgriService represents top seed lines in the industry like Lewis Hybrids, Stein Seed, and AgriGold, and focuses on products developed to meet or exceed our customers' expectations. Sit down with one of our experienced local seed experts who will work with you to help select top producing corn hybrids and soybean varieties tailored for your specific soils and fertility levels. Or visit us online at loganag.com. Logan AgriService, serving agriculture since 1962. Grab the game while your kids are busy. You know, streaming, gaming, and homework. Now you can teach your kids the value of a dollar by showing bundles with Cascom. Bundle telephone, internet, and TV. Bundle two for a double play or three for a triple play. Plus, save $20 a month for three months for a limited time. Then you can tell everyone how you help them with their math homework. Call Cascom about bundles today at 1-800-252-1799. Cascom at 1-800-252-1799. Is predator hunting your thing? Game Masters has you covered. We have way more than just deer and turkey hunting gear, safes, clothes, and gifts. Come check out our predator guns, calls, decoys, lights, traps, binoculars, bipods, tripods, and shooting sticks. Don't forget your thermal and night vision, rifle scopes, trapping equipment, and supplies. Whether your next game pursuit is big or small, runs or flies, Game Masters has what you need to get the job done. We're passionate about the outdoors. Sports families, come check out Central Valley Sports, the new facility in town. Located three miles south of Winchester at 520 Winchester Glasgow Road. Batting cages, pitching mounds, pitching machines, and more. Open to all ages and skill levels. The facility is available for team rental, individual membership, and family memberships. Be sure to check out the Central Valley Sports Facebook page for more information and stay up to date on individual lessons and camps offered throughout the year. Welcome to Douglas Automotive and Tire, your expert truck and car repair center in Pittsfield, Illinois. We provide full service from oil changes to new tires and everything in between. Contact us today to schedule service. We're located at 303 West Jefferson Street in Pittsfield, Illinois. Call 217-922-0064. That's 217-922-0064. Britain and the gang know cars, and if you need repairs, call Douglas Automotive today for all your repairs. Welcome back on the Great Rivers Bank pregame show on Central Illinois Sports. Triopia at 7 and 8, taking on Carlinville at 7 and 8. That's the 6th seed versus the 14th seed, and obviously not a lot of difference between record there. They're exactly the same. So far today in this tournament, we've seen number one, Camp Point Central, beat number 30, or uh, number 34. How about number nine, Payson <laughs> Seymour, 49 to 34. This is a strange 34 team tournament. That's the Beardstown Lady Tiger Classic. Calhoun is was a winner over Pleasant Hill, 73-29. Route beat Liberty, 56-55 in overtime in the best game of the day. Greenfield, the winner over Western, 58-33. West Central beat Carrollton, 56-39. Porta, 50-42 over North Green. Greenfield, Northwestern. Where was I at? Not Greenfield, Northwestern. How about uh, Grigsville Perry? Beat uh, Brown County 68-20. to And that reaches us here to game number eight. And we haven't seen any upsets yet, Damon. And this one, on paper I talked about, could be one of your better games, I think. I'm going to make a prediction and say that one team comes out of here with a 500 record. Hey, bold, bold move. 
uh, you're like those student sections that chant, I believe that we will win with 20 seconds left up by 15. That's a bold move, Cotton. See how it works out. But we uh, see this Tropia squad. Rich Thompson does a great job for Triopia. Really gets his kids to play hard. Their team that kind of has uh, struggled at times on the offensive side. Finally, a little healthier than they have been in a while. And so we'll take on Carlinville, who's a team who played a lot of youngsters over the last couple of years for Coach Dave Suits. And they're trying to see if that pays off for them here as uh, they've run the record of 7-8 on the season. Well, uh, you know, you touched on it. The one thing you never have to question with a Rich Thompson-led squad is effort. They're going to play hard. They're going to come out. They're going to guard aggressively. And one thing that his team's try to do and typically do a good job of is they value each possession. And if they can do that, they can come out and maybe force this Carlinville squad to rush things a little bit, get a little bit impatient on the offensive end. And that's what Rich Thompson's teams like to try to do when they're on the defensive end of the court. Winner of this contest will play Greg Will Perry Wednesday night at 8.30. That is the, that'll be the last quarterfinal game of the 101st Winchester Invitational Tournament. They'd both like to be there. And trying to take down Greg Swilperry. It'll be a tall task, though, as, the uh, man, you just saw the tornadoes get done uh, taking it to Brown County pretty handily in that contest, and uh, they look really, really good in doing so. No upset so far in the tournament. That's not overly odd for day number one, although we were close a couple of times. Could this be... The one upset of round number one, or will Triopia seed hold true? We'll know more in uh, just a little while. Let's pause for a break on the Great Rivers Bank pregame show. Best Systems Insulators offer insulation for homes and commercial buildings throughout central Illinois and the surrounding areas. We take great care to ensure that the insulation products we use are the best fit for our clients and their project. We understand that different buildings have different needs and that each of our clients has a unique set of goals. Let us work with you to find the best solution for your next project. Call Best Systems Insulators at 217-285-6005. That's 285-6005. Or visit them online at GoBestSystems. Systems.com. At the First National Bank of Beardstown, you come first. We're dedicated to helping you in any way we can with a full line of financial products delivered by caring, experienced professionals. With locations in Beardstown, Murrayville, and Winchester, we're here to serve the region with your banking needs. Contact our Winchester location at 217-742-3134 or visit us online at bankingyoufirst.com. The First National Bank of Beardstown, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Kate Marable, real estate broker with Hometown Real Estate, would like to say good luck to all area teams and hopes everyone has a successful and healthy season. When you're in the market for a new home or would like to sell your home, be sure to call Kate Marable. Kate is a lifelong resident of the area and has experience in first-time home buyers, FHA, USDA, and VA loans. Call Kate Marable at 217-370-9809. That's 370-9809 for Kate Marable and Hometown Real Estate. Cedar Lake Campground has been owned and operated by the Cranberg family for over 50 years. Located off of Highway 24 between Coatesburg and Camp Point, Cedar Lake Campground is a quiet family campground that you're sure to enjoy. With 60 RV spots with water and electric and our five-acre lake, it's a perfect spot for a weekend spent fishing, spending time with family, and enjoying the great outdoors. Find out more about Cedar Lake Campground on Facebook or call 217-455-4602. The thing for me that really separates DOT, senior leadership and the owners of the business really focus on employee engagement. We have some of the best people managers. The Tracy family, senior leaders throughout the business, really all of our leaders care about the employees that work here. And that allows for a lot of families to come work at Dot Foods and I think that's part of it is being able to have all those different schedules and the flexibility to be able to move things around when life happens. 
Hey, it's the start of the new year, and it's one of your New Year's resolutions in order to make your dollar stretch further. Then you don't want to miss the Dollar Day sale at your local Farm Homes Buy running January 5th through the 14th. Here's some of the hottest deals. Get $15 off all Wrangler Retro Denim. We'll give you a free $15 gift card when you purchase any 30-pound or more Purina Pro Plan dog food. Tide Simply Laundry Detergent is only 8 bucks. Need a heater? Our most popular milk house heater is only $17. See all the deals and much more right now at farmandhomesupply.com. It's time for the Farm and Home Supply starting lineups in this contest. First for the visiting team, the Carlinville Cavaliers. Dave Suits' his team is 7-8 and eight on the season. They'll start the following at a guard, a 6-1 senior, Matt Dunn. At a second guard, a 5-10 sophomore, Tristan Thompson. And at the third guard, a 6-2 junior, Dom Alepra. At a forward, he's a 6-3 sophomore, Sawyer Smith. And at the other four, the 6-foot senior, Camden Noggle. Noggle, Smith, Alepra. Thompson and Dunn for the Cavaliers of Carlinville. For the Trophy of Trojans, Rich Thompson's team 7 and 8. They'll start at a guard, a 6-foot senior, Evan Bell. At a second guard, a 6-foot senior, Austin Struby. And at the third guard, he is a 5'8 junior, Caleb Carpenter. At a forward, a 5'11 junior, David Richards. And at the other forward is a 6'6 senior, K.J. Beck. Beck, Richards, Carpenter, Struby, and Bell for Triopia. Farm and Home Supply, proud to bring you the starting lineups on Central Illinois Sports from power tools to snacks, hoodies, lawn chairs, and lots in between. Farm and Home Supply has it all for you. Visit the location nearest you. Learn more at farmandhomesupply.com. We get set for tip-off of the final game of day number one of the 101st Winchester Invitational Tournament next on Central Illinois Sports. Here in Pittsfield, we're focused on maintaining a healthy, diverse economic base to increase opportunities for our residents. Economic factors greatly affect a community's overall potential, and we strive to continue our prosperous culture. The availability of both commercial and industrial employment centers and new lucrative entrepreneurship opportunities are major assets for growth and development here in Pittsfield. In addition to providing employment and income to people, Pittsfield also boasts several tax incentive districts to further facilitate economic growth. Examples of growth and success can be seen throughout Pittsfield. Pittsfield is located within Pike County and widely known for the abundance of white-tailed deer and is also home to companies that have capitalized from the region's natural resources. Located over on Madison Street, white Tail Properties is a major local and international employer that truly embodies the local and economic spirit of Pittsfield. State-of-the-art communications and telecommuting are available here. Be sure to catch their televised series throughout the week on the Sportsman Channel. Come grow and be a part of something great in Pittsfield, Illinois. At the First National Bank of Beardstown, you come first. We're dedicated to helping you in any way we can with a full line of financial products delivered by caring, experienced professionals. With locations in Beardstown, Murrayville, and Winchester, we're here to serve the region with your banking needs. Contact our Winchester location at 217-742-3134 or visit us online at bankingyoufirst.com. The First National Bank of Beardstown, member FDIC and equal housing lender. All right, we are ready for Triopia in Carlinville. Final game of the first day of the 101st Winchester Invitational Tournament. Games throughout the week next week. We'll have them all for you here on Central Illinois Sports. Triopia will be the home team in the white uniforms with the Columbia blue uh, numbers and uh, dark blue accents. Carlinville the visiting uh, blue uh, unis with the white numbers and red trim. Just about ready to roll at Winchester. Thanks to all of you who have joined us throughout the day. Thanks to our sponsors who helped make it possible. Do want to remind you about Plum Creek Golf Course. Just off of Interstate 72 north of Winchester, they welcome you to the 101st Winchester Invitational Tournament every Monday and Wednesday, excluding the holidays throughout the year. You can play all day for $25, cart included. Call the clubhouse to make sure they're open for the day this time of year. 217-742-9018. For Pump Creek Golf Course. Cavaliers and the Trojans. KJ Beck will jump in the center for Triopia and walking out to the center circle for Carlinville. We'll see Sawyer Smith. Oh, 
spinning tip of game eight is up and controlled by Triopia. Carpenter into the front court, in the corner to Bell. Gonna feed Beck in the post. Beck, top of the key. Three point shot looked good from Struby, but would not fall. Out of bounds, it'll head the way to Caddies. Seven forty-six to play in the first. Got the look, probably they wanted. To start the game. Just did not go down for Triopia. Thompson with the dribble into the front court. Works it to Noggle. Noggle, the six-foot senior, right back to Tristan Thompson. To Smith. Now the ball knocked loose. Run down in the corner though by Alepra. Noggle gets a touch now on the perimeter to Dom Alepra, the 6'2 junior. Look for the pick and roll action. Ball is tipped by Carpenter and stolen away into the front court. Turnover the first of the game. Here's a three, right side, Bell won't go. And the rebound secured by Alepra. He'll bring it into the front court for the Cavaliers. Scoreless with nearly a minute gone in this game. Alepra's little runner no good. Good box out by Triopia. And they're on the run the other way. Carpenter finds Richards left side. He'll let it fly from downtown. Triopia, a lot of threes here in the early going, yet to connect. Ball out of bounds underneath here for the Trojans. And Coach Rich Thompson's letting his team know that they do have the option of getting the ball down low. Just told them they've had three possessions, three outside shots. They want to get the ball into the hands of the big man, Beck, and let the offense flow through him. Struby on the right wing. Looks to Beck in the post. Has a six-inch height advantage over the man guarding him. Got to keep the ball up high right there. As when he brought that ball down low, that height advantage goes away. Bell left side. Feeds Beck. Puts it on the deck. Chop it up is good. K.J. Beck puts Triopia on the board with 6.29 to play in the first. On the dribble, Tristan Thompson. To a leper. He'll try the dribble drive toward the baseline. Looks for an opening. Now way out front to Thompson again. To a leper. Just a couple of guys touching the ball here on this possession. Now to Smith. Reverses the ball right side. That's to Thompson. Back to Sawyer Smith. Going to try to go to work. Nope, just a single dribble. To a Lepra. Cavaliers trying to dissect this defense for Triopia. Underneath, turnaround, shop it up, no good by Dunn. And the rebound down to Beck. He'll push into the front court. Struby had to wait for his teammates to play a little catch up. Right side, Bell. Bell drives in, a little reverse, layup with the left hand. Up and good. Nifty move by Bell. And it makes it four to nothing. Trojans on top. On the PCRE real estate and auction scoreboard. Here's Sawyer Smith going to try to dial from long distance. Shot no good. Was it blocked? They'll say yes, it was. It was tipped. He didn't dismiss it that short. And the Cavaliers will have it underneath their own hoop. Bounce pass to Smith, hands it in the corner to Alepra. Trying to create a little space here. Not a travel, no call. Missed the shot, and Bell got the rebound. To Carpenter into the front court for the Trojans. Spin move down low, up to the window, no good. Rebound tipped around and pulled in by Thompson, who is called for a travel. He was kind of down on a knee, must have spun around on it a hair. I think he started to come up before he got rid of the ball there. I see. Triopia ball underneath, Carpenter to throw it in. Richards on the wing, looks for Carpenter in the corner. Now the ball comes out to Bell, going to post up Beck, fadeaway shot, off the window and in for two. K.J. Beck with the bucket, and makes it 6-0 Triopia. That's kind of what Rich Thompson was talking about, getting that ball into the paint. That'll help those outside shots fall later because you'll get more time. Here's a drive in, a block by Beck this time. Rebound on the play comes to Struby. He'll push it into the front court to the window. And in for two, and Traupia races out to an 8-0 lead. We get an Adams Network timeout. 4.36 to play in the first. Traupia leading Carlinville, 8-0.
436 to play in the first eight. Nothing trial be on top. Carlin will call the timeout. It'll be their ball length of the court to go as we come back to live action here. Wiping a little um, Got a moisture little, up off the floor, I believe. I think maybe there's a player. Dama Lepra is on the bench for the Cavaliers. He's got a uh, bloody nose, so he had to take a seat. Look at him taking care of. Tate Duckles checked into the ball game for the Cavaliers. He saw Duckles a lot last year for this Carlinville squad. He's just a sophomore. Thompson over to Dunn. Doesn't use the screen. Now throws it back out to Smith. Hands it right back to Dunn. Skips it over on the right-hand side to Duckles. Duckles attacks. Bounce pass down low to Smith. Missed the shot from the baseline of the rebound down to Beck. Into the front court Carpenter to Beck at the free throw line. Back out top Struby. Has to look to the bench for the play call. Halfway home in this first quarter. It's 8-0 Triopia. Here's Carpenter to the wing and Richards. Richards tries to dribble drive. Shop it up is no good. Beck gets the rebound of the putback, and it's good. It was close to goaltending. Beck might have gotten away with the goaltending there. They kind of reached up through the basket the first time around, but he gets the putback nonetheless. 10-0 Trojans. Trojans started 0 for 3 from behind the three-point line. Rich Thompson told him to get the ball down low, and since they're 5 of 7 from the 2. There's a big block again by K.J. Beck, his second of the day. Nearly got the steal, too. Sawyer Smith gets it down low, leaves it off to Noggle, who will put it up and put Carlin Mill on the board. A little bit of a scramble drill that time for the Cavaliers, but they get their first basket, 10-2, with 3-10 to play in the first. Richards gets it out front, going to feed the post and Beck. Leaves it off to Struby from 8. And that hot shooting streak inside the perimeter continues for the Trojans as the lead grows again to double digits. Duckles off of the Noggle screen for an opening. Still trying to find a cutter, and Noggle will come back out now and get it out on the perimeter. Hands the ball off to Thompson. Done. Quick pass left side. Duckles. Duckles tries to wigwag inside. He will find a cutter in Dunn, who puts up a shot. No good, but he's fouled and heads to the free throw line of the first foul of this contest. KJ Beck will be whistled for the foul. His first team foul number one. First free throw attempts of the ball game for either team on the way for Matt Dunn. Dunn, the 6'1 senior, looking for his first point of the night. And he gets it. Pike County Concrete, if you need concrete for your next job or project, give Pike County Concrete a call. They have locations in Pittsville and Jacksonville. Call 217-285-5548. Beck and Struby to the bench for the Trojans. For the Cavaliers, Noggle takes a seat. As Dunn knocks them both down, he's got his first two points of the ball game. His team trails 12-4 with 2.25 to play here in the first quarter. Carpenter into the front court. On the right side, that's Bell. Jackson Dion has checked into the game for Triopia. Richards with it deep in the corner right side. Dribbles to the free throw line. Back out to Dion. Comes to let Carpenter get it here and recalls the offense here. 159 to play in the opening period. 12-4 the score. Triopia the lead and the possession. Dion. Going to enter it down low. Turn around, shot put up by Bell is good. And he'll have a and a one opportunity here as he finished through the contact. Bell was fouled by Cole Sullivan. That's Sullivan's first. First foul of the game against the Cavaliers. Evan Bell will go to the line. The six-foot senior looking to give his team their largest lead of the night at 11 as they've got the 14-4 lead as Brock York Checks into the ballgame for the first time for Coach Rich Thompson's squad. As Bell gets his free throw to go, he's got five. And it's an 11-point lead for the Trojans. Pass on the perimeter. Comes out to Dunn. Dunn drives inside. Pass off to Duckles. That's a good bucket. And he'll have a chance at the old-fashioned three-point play. Duckles has got two. Fouled by David Richards. Richards whistled for his first, first foul of the, or second foul of the quarter against 
the Trojans as it sends Tate Duckles to the line looking to complete the and one. His shot is good. Duckles has got three. 135 to play in the first. Triopia 15, seven the lead over Carlinville. Dion out top. Looks to York on the wing left side. Brock York is a 5'8 sophomore. Over to Barrett Whitehead. To Dion. Triopia has gone a little deeper in their bench than Carlinville has so far today. Here's Whitehead for a three right wing. No good. Rebound ran down by Brock York. And the Trojans will have a second chance opportunity here. York, bounce pass on the wing to Bell. A minute to play in the first. Bell on the dribble drive in. Caught on the baseline. Throws it back out to Struby. To Bell in the corner. Here Rich Thompson is telling his team, be patient. Be patient with an eight-point lead. Right side with it is York. To the elbow. Works it out top to Dione. Going to feed the post to Struby. And he's bumped and fouled from behind. And Duckles be whistled for his first. Second foul of the quarter against the Cavaliers. See Beck check back into the ballgame for the Trojans. Dione will take a seat. We'll also see Noggle back into the ballgame for the Cavaliers as Sawyer Smith will take a seat. So Beck get a few minutes of rest there for Rich Thompson squad. He checks in. Pass goes to him right away, and he makes the mark as he goes up for two. Give him eight. And it's back to a 10-point Trojans lead. A little easier to play this game at 6-6, isn't it? It doesn't hurt. 22 seconds to play in the first. Noggle. Now to Thompson. Looks for an opening. Now on the left side, it goes to Sullivan. Sullivan on the dribble. Works the pass. Then tip right back out to Noggle with nine. Look back door. Sullivan. Good find. And it's up and in for the Cavaliers to make it 17-9. Three seconds to York. Will get it into the front court. Whitehead, long three as good as it goes. Would not off the window. And we've played a quarter of high school basketball action. It's Triumphia 17, Carlinville 9. Second quarter play-by-play -play your way after this. Stotsy Automotive and Tire, located at 201 Adams Street in Camp Point, Illinois, is your local automotive repair shop. Whether you need an oil change, brake job, alignment, engine repair, or new tires, Stott C Automotive is here with honest and competitive pricing. Call Reagan and his team today to schedule your appointment. 217-740-5010. That's 217-740-5010 for Stott C Automotive and Tire. The Liquor Booth is your home for a huge selection of beer, wine, and spirits. The Liquor Booth has two locations in Quincy, 3520 Broadway and 1500 North 12th Street. The Liquor Booth, where it's always happy hour. At Full Throttle Parts, we do spray on bed liners, a brand called Patriot Liner. It is very elite. It actually enhances the resale value of anything you put it on, on or off road. Go Full Throttle! Go Full Throttle. After a quarter, Trialpi on top of Carlinville, 17-9. Cavaliers will have the basketball to start the second quarter of action here at the Winchester Invitational Tournament. And the Cavaliers bring to the floor Duckles, Sullivan, along with Thompson, Noggle, and the fifth man is done. Here's Sullivan going to fire a three to start the second period. No good. Rebound run down by Trialpius Carpenter. Carpenter quickly into the front court for his team and will have a turnover. So just lost just it out of bounds. First turnover of the ballgame against the Trojans. Pretty solid first quarter for Triopia after the first couple of minutes when they were kind of settling on that three point line. Thompson with it for Carlinville. Zone defense now it looks like for Triopia. But a 1-2-2 two, two possible? Yes. 1-2-2, two, two, a flatter 1-2-2 two, two with Carpenter out on top. Really okay. packing it in, not too worried about the shot out top. Just trying to take away the middle of this Cavaliers offense. Duckles gets it out to Sullivan. Sullivan has the ball swiped loose, but still loose and stolen away. And then the ball poked away into the front court and a foul called on Dunn. It'll be Dunn's first, first foul of the quarter. 
We'll see Smith and Lepra back into the ball game for the Cavaliers. Dunn and Sullivan will take a seat. The other side for the Trojans, we'll see David Richards back into the contest as Barrett Whitehead will take a seat for Rich Thompson's squad. 7 7 to play in the half. Inbounds pass to Richards on the wing. Looks in the corner to Bell. Going to feed the post and Peck. They collapse on him. Out top to Struby. That's the kind of thing you're going to see, though, if you're a shooter. You like to see that they're collapsing on Beck because that means you toe the line. He'll get it to you, and you're going to get a good look. Carpenter with it on the wing. He'll try the dribble drive inside. Has a shot blocked by Smith. The ball went out of bounds. It stays with Triopia underneath here. And Richards will be the inbound man for the Trojans. Looking, 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 close to five, and it is five. Good defense by the Cavaliers that time to force the turnover on the inbounds play. 6.45 to play in this first half. A leper with it. He's sporting a little cotton in the nose as they're trying to stop that nosebleed. Looks like it still might be bleeding, doesn't it? Doesn't look like it stopped. Gets away with steps there. Here's a ball knocked loose. Last touch by Carlinville, and it'll be Trophia basketball. We've seen guys come out with things more than that. Remember Joey Coonrod with the uh, tape on the mm -hmm. forehead? Probably should have had stitches. <laughs> he just kept coming out. Just retaping it with some athletic tape. Cut me, Mick. Chop it up. Blocked by Smith. Rebound to Noggle. Into the front court come the Cavaliers. Duckles on the dribble. Now top to Thompson. Works off the Noggle screen. Turns the corner, and now we'll throw it back out to Noggle. Noggle, a single dribble of it. Looks for an opening here. Finds Smith. Ball handoff goes to a leper. 5.50 to play in the half. A leper drives with a high floater up too long. And the rebound down to Bell. He'll push to Carpenter into the front court. Long bounce pass. Beck and Richards kind of looked at one another, thinking the other was going to take it, and a turnover on the Trojans. Wasn't sure there was any chance that pass was going to make it through, and it ended up being a really good pass from Bell. Just nobody grabbed it. And after no turnovers in the first quarter of play, the Trojans with three in the first two and a half minutes of the second quarter. Here's Smith, gets by Beck on the baseline, and Beck called for the bump and foul. Nice job there to attack K.J. Beck. Got him a little bit further away from the basket than he's comfortable and draws the second foul of the night against him. First foul of the quarter. So we'll see Andrew Hobrock check in. Hobrock's a 6'3 junior, or 6'3 sophomore, that is, for the Trojans. And bounce pass to Duckles in the corner left side. To Alepra, his pass stolen away by Bell. Bell with the Larson. He lay up at the other end after the shot fake is up and good. Evan Bell the basket and the 10 point lead for Triopia. Bell's got seven. Smith on the baseline had trouble with a dribble. Pushes it back out to Thompson who threw it way out front. Yeah, it looks like Thompson was out of bounds underneath. Now a drive-in by a Lepra won't fall. And another Evan Bell rebound. Carpenter on the run into the front court. Left it for Bell. Kind of led him with the pass that time. Hobrock gets it. And out front for Carpenter for Triopia. A 5-10 with 439 to play in the second period on the PCRE Real Estate and Auction scoreboard. Left side, dribble drive. Carpenter shot block. Noggle with the board. Gets it to Thompson. They had the man advantage for a moment, but Carpenter hustles back. Noggle in, or excuse me, that is Thompson in transition. Shot no good, and Hobrock is fouled on the rebound. Foul's going to be whistled against Sawyer Smith. That'll be Smith's first. Second foul of the quarter. Dunn and Sullivan back in as Noggle and Duckles will take a seat for the Cavaliers. The other side, Whitehead back in for the Trojans, and David Richards. We'll take a seat. 4.19 to play here, first half action. Trojans with the lead in the basketball. It's 19-9 on the PCRE Real Estate and auction scoreboard. 
Down low, ball comes to Hobrock, blocked by Smith. Long rebound tipped around, run down out front by Struby for Triopia. They'll reset. To Bell. Over on the left wing, that's Whitehead. Struby out front. Right side to Bell. Look for him on the roll. Instead, out top, Hobrock gets a touch. Ten point lead here for the Trojans. They've led throughout this contest. Now here's Struby for a deep three, and he buries it. Struby toes the line and knocks it down to make it a 13 point Triopia lead, their biggest of the evening. Thompson. Find Sullivan off of the screen. No good. Check that that was done off the screen. And on the rebound, we have a whistle. And an Adams Network timeout. If you're looking for fast, reliable internet that doesn't buffer, it's Adams Fiber. They're local. And provided the top internet experience, visit followthefiber.net. Pressures on you would like to wish all the area teams the best of luck this year. If you're looking to get your team shirts or just looking for spirit wear for yourself, remember Pressures on you. We have over 1,400 square foot of retail space in our shop. Stop by and see us and check out our offerings. Business lets us help you promote your brand. Decoration methods we offer include screen printing, embroidery, and laser engraving. Thank you to everyone in our community for the support over the last 16 years. Thank you for supporting local. Pressures on you, 506 Westwood. Camp Point, Illinois. It's time to be thinking about tax planning. You can count on Illinois FBFM for accounting, consulting, and tax preparation for farmers and businesses in Pike, Brown, and Adams Counties. Call 217-593-7233. That's 593-7233. Illinois FBFM can take care of your farm accounting needs. Get your accounts in order for this tax season. Contact Jesse Schumann and Emily Matthews at Illinois FBFM and Camp Point. Working for you. 321 to play in the half. 22-9 the lead for Triopia on top of Carlinville. Trojans took the timeout. They'll have the basketball length of the court to go. Having it their way so far in this first half. Struby on the left side, works at the top of the key to Bell. He'll try the drive inside, runner up is no good. Did you see Barrett Whitehead? I think he created a distraction that time. He kind of ran through, looked like one of those blow up uh, floppy guys that you see at the uh, car lots. What do you call those? The two guys that wave their hands back and forth. You know what I'm talking about. You get it. Bell at the line where he banks the first one in. He's got eight. And his team's lead is out to 14. Amazing golf ball uh, whacker guy. Charlie's starting to see things after game eight as Hobrock gets the rebound, his second offensive board. <laughs> You're right. There may be things happening out here. Could see a live chicken in a moment. Three minutes to play in the half. 23-9 the advantage for Triopia. Here's Take it easy, foul. Serrano. Duckles from behind. And that'll be his third. Fourth foul of the quarter. The name Duckles, of course, reminds me of one of the great cinematic masterpieces of all time, the Mighty Ducks. Which one was the best? Ooh. I like the one where they somehow said that we had like a league team that won the Olympics. I didn't, I didn't know how that worked, but I liked it. That's Hollywood for that you. Was, that was two. That's probably the best one, just like Home Alone 2. Here's... Uh, drive in and a foul going to be called on one of the Trojans. That's going to be Whitehead. That was, I mean, how that movie didn't win an Oscar, though, is beyond me. Home Alone 2? Or the Mighty Ducks. Quack. 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 Yeah, Julie the Cat Gaffney with the big save in the shootout to beat Iceland. Yeah. And the knuckle puck. A pull-up shot, no good by Thompson. Rebound, Noggle. They'll count it. Oh, On continuation. Noggles has got four. He'll go to the line for the end one. And for being fouled by Hobrock. Oh, now they're saying it's not good? Oh, the humanity. Who counted it? Boo this. Oh, now a three on the way, no good. And it's a 14-point game. I mean, I don't think it should have counted, but he said it counted. Yeah, 
2-0-2 to play in the half. Nogglehead points taken away. Hobrock works it in the corner on the left side. That's Whitehead. Now to Struby, had to save it in bounds and a turnover. Tristan Thompson on the run into the front court. Finds a streaking Dama Lepra, who puts it up and in for two. And Trophy is so honest, they give the ball back to the Cavies to try to get that bucket back. Ball don't lie. Tristan Thompson, I believe, was the name of a player that played for the Cavaliers he? in the NBA, wasn't it? Yeah, he was also married to a Kardashian. Who for, hasn't been? For 12 seconds. Here comes Sawyer Smith back into the game. He'll replace Dunn for the Cavaliers. Come for the basketball. Learn about all sorts of Hollywood fun facts here. From Mighty Ducks to the Kardashians, we've got you covered here in the first half. Just don't allege that anybody's on any list that they might not be on. 120 to play in the half. 12-point lead in the basketball for Triopia. Here's Hobrock down low. Puts it up and in. Andrew Hobrock with his first bucket of the contest. Good job fighting through contact there for Hobrock. And that bucket matches the largest lead of the ballgame for the Trojans at 14. Noggle finds the cutter. Left-hand shot up and good for the Cavaliers. Donald Alepra on the answer. 48 ticks to play in this first half. See if the Trojans look to hold for one going into the half, as they will also have the basketball to start the third quarter, provided there's not a tie-up. I think they're going to just attack the bucket with Struby and see what can happen, though. It's a wild guess. Just read the script. It's already scripted out. Sullivan will be whistled for his second, fifth foul against the Cavaliers. <laughs> and Struby will go to the line to shoot two. He's got seven points. His team's got the 25-13 lead. First one for him is off the back iron, no good. And he'll have one shot remaining with 34.4 seconds to go on the PCRE real estate and auction scoreboard. Struby splits a pair at the line, give him eight. 26-13 Trojans, 30 seconds to play in the half as Alepra brings it into the front court to Noggle on the right side. Trojans drop back into a zone defense here for the final possession. Quick pass down, though. Turnaround shot up and good for Tristan Thompson. Nice job on the ball movement that time by the Cavaliers. Triopi with a chance to beat a buzzer here, though. Up by 11 with 10 seconds to play. Struby with it. Works off of the screen on the dribble with five. Hands it off to Whitehead. Over to Carpenter with one. He'll not get a shot off. Tropia will not execute that end of quarter action very well. And we head to halftime in the Little Jess Motors halftime show where the Tropia Trojans lead the Carlinville Cavaliers 26 15. Here at Little Jess, we value hard work, dedication, integrity, and leadership. We have a respect for heritage and tradition and believe in the pursuit of building legacies, breaking records, and putting forth award-winning results. That's why supporting schools and local teams is one of our favorite and most exciting parts of our business. For over seven decades, we strive daily to use those same values as a foundation to meet our community's automotive needs and support our future generations. Little Jess Motors, serving our community since 1969. The Bank of Bluffs and the Meridosha Community Bank with two locations to serve you in Bluffs and Meridosha. My wife and I have a long history with the Bank of Bluffs and its friendly staff. When we have needed a friend in the banking world, the Bank of Bluffs has always been in the right place for us. The Bank of Bluffs, the small town bank with a big heart for customers. Plus, you are dealing with your friends and neighbors every day. Why be a number when the Bank of Bluffs will treat you with respect and as a friend? The Bank of Bluffs and the Meridosha Community Bank, member FDIC. Sports Families. Come check out Central Valley Sports, the new facility in town. Located three miles south of Winchester at 520 Winchester Glasgow Road. Batting cages, pitching mounds, pitching machines, and more. Open to all ages and skill levels. The facility is available for team rental, individual membership, and family memberships. Be sure to check out the Central Valley Sports Facebook page for more information and stay up to date on individual lessons and camps offered throughout the year. Hey, grab me one, too. Welcome back 
on the Little Jess Motors halftime show. Try out be on top of Carlinville here at the break, 26-15. Trojans favored in this contest. Halftime stats are brought to you in part by Real Entwine, located just north of Pittsfield, across from the airport, your local headquarters for concrete, lawn ornaments, statues, fountains, benches, and much, much more. Stop by and see them or call 217-285-5013 for Real Net and Twine. Well, after one quarter, Triopia had the 17-9 lead going to the halftime with the 11-point lead at 26-15. Trojans led by as many as 14 points. We've yet to be tied in the ballgame. No lead changes. Turnovers in this one. Five turnovers against the Cavaliers of Carlinville. Four turnovers against the Trojans. <laughs> Fouling situation. Three fouls for Tate Duckles and two fouls for Cole Sullivan of the Cavaliers. And for the Trojans, K.J. Beck picked up two fouls in that first half of play. It is 26-15. Trophy on top of Carlinville, the halftime break. Damon's back with the rest of your halftime stats after this. At the First National Bank of Beardstown, you come first. We're dedicated to helping you in any way we can with a full line of financial products delivered by caring, experienced professionals. With locations in Beardstown, Murrayville, and Winchester, we're here to serve the region with your banking needs. Contact our Winchester location at 217-742-3134 or visit us online at bankingyoufirst.com. The First National Bank of Beardstown, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Kate Marable, real estate broker with Hometown Real Estate, would like to say good luck to all area teams and hopes everyone has a successful and healthy season. When you're in the market for a new home or would like to sell your home, be sure to call Kate Marable. Kate is a lifelong resident of the area and has experience in first-time home buyers, FHA, USDA, and VA loans. Call Kate Marable at 217-370-9809. That's 370-9809 for Kate Marable and Hometown Real Estate. Cedar Lake Campground has been owned and operated by the Cranberg family for over 50 years. Located off of Highway 24 between Coatesburg and Camp Point, Cedar Lake Campground is a quiet family campground that you're sure to enjoy. With 60 RV spots with water and electric and our five-acre lake, it's a perfect spot for a weekend spent fishing, spending time with family, and enjoying the great outdoors. Find out more about Cedar Lake Campground on Facebook or call 217-455-4602. When it comes to financial planning, most financial companies focus on your income. At Northwestern Mutual, we focus on your outcome. That's why we know what it takes to succeed both on your balance sheet and in your life. It takes the right financial partner who looks at where you are now and where you want to go and design a financial plan to take you there so you can achieve the life you're after today and every day after. Focus on your financial outcome with Northwestern Mutual. Contact Sheila Davidsmeyer today. Her office is located at 311 West Washington in Pittsfield, Illinois. Or visit SheilaDavidsmeyer.nm.com. The Northwestern Mutual Life Insurance Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Welcome back on the Little Jess Motors Halftime Show. Little Jess, 3431 Main Street in Quincy, Illinois. The place to go for your next Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, or Ram purchase. Their uh, staff is committed to making the car buying process simple and seamless and making sure each customer's needs are satisfied. Learn more at littlejessmotor.com or stop by and see them in Quincy, Illinois, right across from Quincy High School. Carlinville in the first half shot, 6 of 17 from the floor for a 38 percent, 0 of 3 from 3, 3 of 3 from the free throw line. Led in scoring by Dama Leper with four, three points for Tate Duckles, and then two points apiece for Matt Dunn, Tristan Thompson, Cole Sullivan, and Camden Noggle to round out the scoring for the Cavaliers. For Triopia, they were 10 of 16, 63 percent, 1 of 7 from 3, 14 percent, 3 of 5 from the free throw line, 60 percent. Uh, try led in scoring by Evan Bell, Austin Struby, and KJ Beck with eight points apiece. And Andrew Hobach, Hobrock had two points in the first half of play to lead the way for Triopia. 26 15 the lead for the Trojans on top of Carlinville here in the first half of play. We step aside on the Little Jess Motors halftime show. We get set for second half action next on Central Illinois Sports. At Farmer State Bank, we believe in community, teamwork, and success. We're thrilled to announce that we've been named the best place to work in Illinois and the best community bank in America this year. 
Join us on this winning team where your dreams take center court at Farmer State Bank. We're a team. Discover the difference. The best place to bank, the best place to work. Because when our community wins, we all win. Where community, excellence, and opportunity come together. Farmer State Bank. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Hey, it's the start of the new year, and it's one of your New Year's resolutions in order to make your dollar stretch further. Then you don't want to miss the Dollar Day sale at your local Farm Homes Buy running January 5th through the 14th. Here's some of the hottest deals. Get $15 off all Wrangler Retro Denim. We'll give you a free $15 gift card when you purchase any 30 pound or more Purina Pro Plan dog food. Tide Simply Laundry Detergent is only eight bucks. Need a heater? Our most popular milk house heater is only $17. See all the deals and much more right now at farmandhomesupply.com. Jersey's World! Jersey's World! Party time! Excellent! Jersey's Bar and Grill in Camp Point, where you can find the best burgers, sandwiches, and steaks, all locally sourced from GJY Beef Company. We love beer! We love beer! Ice cold draft beer. Enjoy one of our many craft selections on the patio. All at Jersey's Bar and Grill, 109 East Jefferson, Camp Point, Illinois. Damon Plumbing, serving all of Pike County and the surrounding area with quality residential and commercial plumbing services. Damon Plumbing offers septic installation, drain cleaning, new water lines, remodel work for your home, or if you're planning a new build, make sure you include the Damon Boys. To get it right the first time, no job too big. Have you seen Brayton and Doug? Or too small? Sorry, Corby, couldn't resist. Call Brayton at 217-491-5415 or Doug at 217-617-2318. Damon Plumbing, recommended by our family for your family. I'm Chris Nichols with PCRE Real Estate and Auction here in Pittsfield. For 15 years now, I've been specializing in selling farmland and hunting properties, along with homes and commercial real estate. Whether it's helping a seller get a premium price out of their home or assisting a buyer to find the farm of their dreams, I pride myself on providing elite customer service. Give me a call today at 217-473-3777 if I can help with any of your real estate needs. Or feel free to jump on our website at pcrerealestate.com. 104 on the clock before the second half start. Little Jess Motors halftime show. Both teams head to their respective benches. 26-15, Trout be on top. They'll have the basketball to start the second half of play. And... Really, for this Carlinville squad, I don't know that they necessarily played badly in the first half. They just didn't have anybody who did anything that kind of helped elevate their team. It was balanced scoring, but the leading scorer with four points. You know, it's, it's good to have well-rounded scoring at times, Damon, but sometimes you need somebody that can kind of take over a game a bit and get you a little energy. Well, they could just never get a, a sustained run. You know, Trappy is led by as many as 14. They have the 11-point lead with the basketball to start the third quarter. And Triopi hasn't done anything out on the court that's just wowed you, but they're just steady, which is you know, pretty par for the course for Rich Thompson's squad. Here's a ball knocked out of bounds, and it'll be a turnover on the first possession of the half as they try to get it to K.J. Beck. Rich Thompson asking if maybe Nago had kind of moved underneath there. And Matt Olson said not enough to stop the action. Thompson into the front court, finds Dunn near the sideline to a leper out top. He'll pull up for a jump shot. It's no good. And K.J. Beck with the rebound for Triopia. Into the front court, the Trojans come quickly as Struby's pass is knocked out of bounds. Might have been kicked. Yeah, hit off his knee. Ball out bounds on the sideline here for Triopia. Beck wants the basketball down low. They couldn't get it to him. And they'll go back out and reset the offense. Bell with it on the wing. He'll drive in. Puts it up, missed the shot. Rebound tip. Comes down to Sawyer Smith. This pass nearly set up his teammate Alepra in a bad spot, but Tropia then instead called for a foul. Carpenter's first. First foul of the quarter against the Trojans. Trying to cut it to single digits is Carlinville here. Ball on the wing comes to Smith. He'll work it out to Dunn. Dunn to the free throw line. Picks it up. Now back to Sawyer Smith. Noggle gets a touch. Going to go to work now. This back to the basket all the way around. Creates a little space up and in for two. Noggle. Didn't take bucket. those two away from him. You would not be denied that time. Closest the Cavaliers have been in some time. 
as it's a nine point advantage for the Trojans. Here's Carpenter, banged around a bit. Ball knocked loose, tied up. It'll be Carlinville basketball. Turnover on Triopia on the alternating possession era. Trojans had four turnovers the first half. And two quick turnovers to start the third quarter. Smith with it. Works on the right side. That's to a leper. Man was kind of chasing him, hooked him almost that time. Would have been defensive pass interference in the pros. Here's a pass to the wing. Sawyer Smith, three, no good. And the rebound down to Carpenter. He wants to push into the front court. On the dribble drive, had it knocked loose. And we'll see another tie-up. This time it stays with Triopia. So the possession error, the only thing that saves Triopia from the turnover there. Rich Thompson's pleading with his squad to pick up the energy level. He's not happy with with what he's seen in the first two minutes of the third quarter. And on the inbounds pass, we'll see a foul called here. That'll be whistled against Noggle. I'm going to say he was holding Beck down low. Just the first foul against Noggle. Pass comes down low to Carpenter. He'll put up a turnaround shot, count it, and he'll get an and one opportunity. Nice play by the... Guard going into the post and finishing there for Triopia. And two quick fouls against Noggle. That's his second. Second foul of the quarter. Carpenter picked up his first points of the ball game. And he'll go to the line looking to add to his team's lead. They've got the 28-17 advantage. Carpenter can't get that one to go. And Pope will get his first board of the ball game. Actually. That'll be Matt Dunn with his first. No Pope yet. Here's Dunn, and he is fouled by Bell. Bell's first, second foul of the quarter. Duckles will be into the contest for the Cavaliers. He's got three fouls. On the right side is Duckles with it. He shovels it out to Smith. Check that one, Smith. That was now Smith underneath. Shot blocked by Beck. Right into the hands of Tristan Thompson for three. Won't fall as it clangs off the rim. And Struby had the board for Triopia. Pass into the front court. A collision. And Tristan Thompson called for the foul. It'll be the third foul of the quarter against the Cavaliers. That's the first foul against Thompson. Fouls mounting up a little bit here for the Cavaliers. Three fouls, less than three minutes in. Carpenter playing the point here for Triopium. They lead by 11. Download a back ball is stripped away. Smith on the run into the front court, drives in, blocked by Beck. It'll call a blocking foul here. I believe it'll be on Struby. Let's see what the official tells us here. Struby's whistled for his first, third foul. A little bit of a late whistle there. But it sends Smith to the line to shoot two. His team trails 28-17, make it 28-18 as Smith gets his first point of the contest. Damon Emmerich at Great Rivers Bank is here to help you with your next auto residential or commercial loan need. Call Damon anytime, day or night, 217-285-4404. Smith knocks them both. He's got two. Back to a single-digit lead for the Trojans. I need the cell phone number. If the office number isn't enough, just let us know. We can get it to you. 473-0439. Sounds like a lot. On the right side, here's Richards for a three, and he'll bury it. Richards with the first triple of this contest for himself and makes it a 12-point game again. Here's a pass that's tipped and stolen away by Beck. Pushes ahead to Struby. One-on-one -on -one against Duckles into the front court. Puts it up off the window. High glass and good. And Trampia leads by 14 on the PCRE Real Estate and Auction scoreboard. 429 to play in the third. Matches the largest lead of the night for the Trojans. Here's a drive in by Dunn. His turnaround shot blocked by Beck again. 
Rebound out of bounds. No, saved in. Knocked out by David Richards. Here comes Nago back into the game. He will replace Smith. On the other side, we see Bell and Beck sit down. Also, Carpenter will take a chair. Dione, York, and Whitehead return for Triopia. We saw all of them in the first half. Trojans have the 14-point lead. Carlinville has the basketball. Noggle going to try to go to work. Lowers his shoulder, and this is an offensive foul. And Noggle be whistled for his third foul. All of them here in the third quarter. It's a turnover against the Cavaliers, just their seventh of the ballgame. And the fourth foul of the quarter, so it will be double bonus the remainder of the third quarter. Whitehead gets away with steps out front. Here's a three by Struby, won't fall. Rebound loose, battle for it on the sideline and picked up here by Dunn. He'll push it into the front court, crosses over, drives in, travels. But they'll count the basket. Ooh. We're going to whistle the foul against Brock York. Uh, that'll be his first, fourth team foul. And Dunn at the line where he completes the and one. We get an Adams Network timeout for Top Notch Reliable Computer Sales and Service. It's Adams Experts here to uh, help you with your computer repair. 217-214-3423. United Community Bank has been serving our community in banking since 1973 and is a proud member of the Pittsfield Strong United Community. UCB brings you the latest banking technology, security, and convenience you expect. Delivered with friendly local service you deserve from your community bank. UCB invites you to stop in for a visit at number one professional plaza in Pittsfield or you can find them online at ucbbank.com. United Community Bank, the leader of community banking, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Sign up for a Saki Rewards debit card 339 to play in the third 33 22 carlinville trailing triopia as carlinville called the timeout after the made bucket york with it for the trojans trying to get it to richards and this is out of bounds a turnover on triopia already four turnovers here in the third quarter after having just four turnovers in the entire first half. It's not been an extremely clean effort either way. Here's Duckles on the dribble. Now to Thompson. Thompson goes to the right side to Duckles. Now Nago at the free throw line. Shovels back to Duckles. Thompson, a little three-man game on that side of the court. Now they'll get Dunn involved out top. Dunn will drive in. Runner up is no good. Offensive rebound. Put back won't fall for Duckles. But he's fouled by Beck, and he'll shoot two. Beck will be whistled for his third, fifth foul of the quarter. And Tate Duckles goes to the line for the Cavaliers. One for one from there in the ballgame. His team's trailing 33-22, 3.05 to play in the third quarter. First free throw is in and out, no good. We'll see Carpenter back in. Richards will take a seat. On the other side, Sawyer Smith back in for the Cavaliers. As Matt Dunn takes a seat, Rich Thompson's going to leave K.J. back out there with those three fouls. And Sawyer Smith's going to get the offensive rebound. A little floater by Duckles, no good. Rebound down to K.J. Beck for Triopia. So some missed opportunities there for the Cavaliers to try to cut this game closer. According to the board, it looks like that last foul was whistled against maybe Evan Bell, but... This one's going to be whistled against the Lepra of the Cavaliers. That's his first. Fifth foul of the quarter. And Caleb Carpenter will go to the line to shoot two for the Trojans. His first free throw. Somebody shifted the wind around a little bit. Hobrock into the game. He'll sit back down on the other side. Or no, still on the same side. Struby in as Dion takes a chair. The board has Barrett Whitehead for two fouls. And Beck for two fouls. So that's what we're going to go with here as well. Carpenter gets a little bit of redemption on the second. He splits a pair. He's got three, and it's back to a 12-point lead as the Cavaliers throw the ball away. And into the front court come the Trojans. 
Right wing Whitehead with 2.34 to play in the third period. Bounce pass down low. Hobrock couldn't get free because he was held by Noggle, who has picked up four fouls all here in the third. They're actually going to call that on Tristan Thompson. Oh, okay. So that's going to be his first. But we will have free throws. And it will be Hobrock going to the line to shoot those. Just to have that right. No good on the first. We're going to have some substitutions into the ballgame. You can actually tell on the sound, these rims are pretty loud here at Winchester. Well, when you've sat through eight games, you learn the sound of the rim, apparently. As Hobrock's at the line. And can't get the second one to go either, but Barrett Whitehead will sky high for the offensive board. Really got up for that one. Got it on the drive down low. Spin move blocked out of there by... Sawyer Smith. Here comes Carlinville trying to find some offense, and they'll get uh, free throws with 2.12 left in the third. Carpenter whistled for his second. So Lepra will go to the line to shoot two. Not the prettiest of quarters here. Has a Lepra at the line looking to cut into his team's deficit. Gets the first one to go. He's got five. It's a 34-23 Trojans advantage. 2-12 to play. Third quarter action on the PCRE scoreboard. Alepra knocks them both. So it's a 10-point game, and the Cavaliers have gotten it down to as few as nine points, but then just haven't been able to come up with that stop, and they'll look to do so here. Down low, Obrock gets it underneath. This shot blocked, and the rebound down to Dunn. The end of the front court, Thompson on the dribble. Kicks to the right side, and Sullivan. Sullivan back to Thompson off the window and in for two. And it's an eight-point game. Here come the Cavaliers. The little momentum, 142 to play in the third. As close as they've been in a while. Ball comes at the free throw line to Stribby. At top, Carpenter. A couple of fakes now, put it on the deck. Gets inside and is bumped and fouled by Alepra. And the leper will be whistled for his second. So Carpenter will go to the line to shoot two more. Trojans just four for ten from the line in this one. Where's that guy from Western that yelled stop fouling earlier? We need that guy back. <laughs> Carpenter gets the first one to go. And he'll have one shot remaining. Knocks that one down as well. He's got five. And the lead back to ten. Smith hands the ball off on the right side. That's to Tristan Thompson. Here's a drive in, kick out, and out of Thompson back on the left hand side from Alepra. Back to Alepra off of the screen. Alepra shot at the back iron, no good, and the rebound pulled in by. Carpenter, he'll bring it across the half-court line with a minute to play in this third period, but he travels first before he can get the pass away. And a turnover on the Trojans, their fifth of the second half. Ninth of the game. Here's a Lepra, knifes the lane, runner-up floater won't go. Rebound pulled in by Bell. Tropius, Rich Thompson says one shot, and I said, okay, pull it out. We talked earlier about how we like how the fouls reset at the end of each quarter, right, Charlie? Yes, I agree. Struby hands it off to Whitehead with 33 ticks to play in the third. Carlin will try to get a stop here in the final moment. Stroop you're trying to get an easy bucket, and instead they get a turnover. Try to pass the Carpenter, try to reach around and get to Beck, and it goes off of his hands and out of bounds on a turnover on the Trojans is their 10th. 25 ticks to play in the third. Alepra with it out top. Cavaliers will have the basketball to start the fourth quarter. Crossover by Alepra. Runner up is off the mark. Rebound. Push to head. Stolen away. Dunn works it down low to Alepra who will beat the buzzer with the bucket. And Carlinville pulls within eight as we head to the fourth. 
Trouty on top, but uh, Carlinville not ready to go away just yet. A steal will lay up in the waning moments, and the Cavaliers are down 36-28. The caring and experienced professionals at Hamilton Funeral Homes are here to support you through this difficult time. We offer a range of personalized services to suit your family's wishes and requirements. You can count on us to help you plan a personal, lasting tribute to your loved one and we'll carefully guide you through the many decisions that must be made during this challenging time. You're welcome to call us at any time of the day, any day of the week. Visit our funeral home in person or on the web at hamiltonfuneralhome.com. Call 217-593-6000. Is predator hunting your thing? Game Masters has you covered. We have way more than just deer and turkey hunting gear, safes, clothes, and gifts. Come check out our predator guns, calls, decoys, lights, traps, binoculars, bipods, tripods, and shooting sticks. Don't forget your thermal and night vision, rifle scopes, trapping equipment, and supplies. Whether your next game pursuit is big or small, runs or flies, Game Masters has what you need to get the job done. We're passionate about the outdoors. Ready to start quarter number four, 36-28, the Trophy lead. Carlinville has the basketball, though, trying to put a little run together here between quarters. Well, after three quarters, the Cavaliers are 10 of 34 from the field for 29%. Trojans 14 of 30 for 47%. Ball was tipped into the backcourt, couldn't be run down, and it was. Sullivan works it to Thompson left side, back to Alephra. Now Noggle going to go right at Beck. Backs his way in, bounce pass down low, good find. Chop it up is out of bounds on the block. As Dunn couldn't get it to go. Dunn might have had the ball slapped off of his wrist on the way up for the shot. Tropia brings Richards back into the game. Noggle to Dunn out front for the Cavaliers. Down by eight. Could they draw it to six? That'd be as close as they've been since the first quarter. Noggle now looks for some help in the corner, close to five, throws it up for grabs, and look out! Right to the scorer's table. And a turnover. And the ninth turnover of the ball game against the Cavaliers. And an ill-timed one. Beck with the ball, looks down low, gets it into Struby. Struby will kick it out back on the right side. It's a Carpenter three that finds the mark from behind the arc. An 11 point Triopi lead now with under seven to play. Noggle going to try the answer. It's too hard. Rebound on the offensive side, though, comes down to Thompson. To a leopard. Tough pass down to Noggle. Trying to back his way in. Looks for the cutter in Thompson. Thompson to Noggle in the corner. Holds it high. Back to Thompson on a nice baseline cut. Count the basket, and he'll get an opportunity to complete the old fashioned three point play as we get our first foul of the fourth. They'll say Carpenter's whistled for the foul. Oh, he has third. First of the quarter. Thompson will go to the line looking to complete the and one and get this back to an eight-point game. First free throw attempt of the night for Thompson is good. He's now got seven. It's as close, though, as the Cavaliers have been able to draw it. Will that trend continue? Ooh, near turnover. Bell had to make a nice catch on that ball. Right side, Carpenter bounces in the paint to Struby. Going to go to work. No back to Carpenter. Fakes the three. Dribble drive in. Gets popped to the chops. Dunn whistled for his second. Just the first foul of the quarter. And it'll be Trojans basketball underneath their own bucket. Evan Bell will inbound for Rich Thompson squad. It's to Richards, who has a three to his name on the day. Now on the baseline, Struby steps back for a three, and it's an air ball out of bounds, though, off of Carlinville. So it'll be Carlinville basket. No, nope, they're going to say it went off of Beck. And a chance for the Cavaliers to cut it two, to closer two. than eight. Could make it a two-possession game. Six minutes left. A leper had it knocked loose, gets it back. To Noggle on the wing right side. To a Lepre. A Lepre wants Thompson to come out and get it. It's Dave Suits calls out 
A new play call for his squad. 543 to play in the contest in a 39-31 game on the PCRE Real Estate and Auction scoreboard. Duckles near the sideline right side. Out top to Alepra, and what happened? That's four fouls on Carpenter. Second foul of the quarter. Whitehead's going to have to check back in as Carpenter will go to the bench with those four fouls. 5.31 left. Chance for the Cavaliers here. Thompson left wing. Ooh, travel no call, and then he throws it into the stands. The Ten turnovers by... Cavaliers just cannot find a way to get it any closer than those eight points. They've had multiple opportunities, but just haven't been able to convert each time they've had the basketball. Out top with it is Bell. Trying to go down on the post, and they'll call a foul. Uh, as there's a battle for position down there, and this one will be called on Noggle. Noggle will be whistled for his fourth. And Trojans bailed out right there as if he wouldn't have been whistled for that fall, that foul. Beck would not have been able to get to the basketball regardless of whether or not he was being held. Pass goes to Beck in the paint. Out of a double team to an open Bell for three good. Evan Bell from downtown to make it an 11-point lead for Triopia. Time out of the court on the Adams Network timeout. 5-0-9 to play in the contest. 42-31 Triopia on top. This is Colton Mixer from Mixer Lumber Company in Clayton, Illinois. We have been selling grain bins for over 40 years. Our company provides years of experience, service, and quality products you can count on. GSI Grain Bins are a trusted company and are now offering their winter discounts. This is the time of year to order your new GSI grain bin. Mixer Lumber Company, where we treat people the way you want to be treated. Give us a call at 217-894-6412. The Bank of Bluffs and the Meridosha Community Bank with two locations to serve you in Bluffs and Meridosha. My wife and I have a long history with the Bank of Bluffs and its friendly staff. When we have needed a friend in the banking world, the Bank of Bluffs has always been in the right place for us. The Bank of Bluffs, the small town bank with a big heart for customers. Plus, you are dealing with your friends and neighbors every day. Why be a number when the Bank of Bluffs will treat you with respect and as a friend? The Bank of Bluffs and the Meridosha Community Bank, member FDIC. 5.09 to play after the Trampia timeout. It'll be Carlin Nobasco, all length of the court to go. They trail 42 to 31 on the PCRE scoreboard. Into the front court comes Thompson. Had a knock loose by a tenacious defensive effort by Whitehead. Coming off the little screen is done. Bounces to Smith on the baseline. Shot. He'll find the mark. Sawyer Smith with the bucket. Can we get a nine-point game? Trophy is Whitehead. Plays the point with Carpenter on the bench with four fouls. Here's Richards going to muscle up, and he's fouled on the floor by Thompson. Thompson's third. Cavaliers third at the quarter. So Richards will inbound for the Trojans. Bounce pass. Ooh, Whitehead had position. Throws it back out to Bell for another three. This one won't fall. It's off a of back out of bounds. And a <laughs> now they're going to come in and talk about it and say that it's going to stay with Triopia. Huh. Came in and overruled the call. Usually the guy that made the call is the one who reverses it if it needs to be reversed. But... Guy from the wing came over and said, no, no, I saw it. Here it goes. Richards with the basketball. Works it on the right side to Whitehead. Now Struby to Beck, top of the key. Way out top. Two Richards with 4.15 to play. Richards drives, kicks Struby. Gets it out top. On the right wing now, Bell. To Beck, top of the key trophy. A little stall action here. Now they'll get Struby free underneath. And he'll scoop it up and in. Austin Struby with the bucket. Makes it an 11-point trophy lead again with under four to play. Alepra tries to dribble drive. It is bumped and fouled. That'll be 
out of bounds underneath there, I believe. And Richards will be whistled for his second, third foul against the Trojans. And we'll have a timeout on the floor. The Cavaliers will take it. Trailing 44-33, 3.47 left to play. It's another Adams Network timeout. I'm Chris Nichols with PCRE Real Estate and Auction here in Pittsfield. For 15 years now, I've been specializing in selling farmland and hunting properties, along with homes and commercial real estate. Whether it's helping a seller get a premium price out of their home or assisting a buyer to find the farm of their dreams, I pride myself on providing elite customer service. Give me a call today at 217-473-3777 if I can help with any of your real estate needs. Or feel free to jump on our website at pcrerealestate.com. Hey, West Central Illinois, are you looking for a great deal on a vehicle? Well, at West Town Ford, we have a lot full of vehicles, cars, trucks, vans, SUVs. We've got them all, and a lot of them, at West Town Ford in Jacksonville. 3.47 to play, 44-33 the lead for Trout as Carlinville took the time out. Dave Suits' his team trying to make one last run at this thing. Got it down to eight a couple of times, just never been able to cut it closer than that. This is just not a lot of consistency for this Carlinville squad and really anything they do in this game anyway. Little flashes of being able to make some things happen. Inbounds pass comes to a leper. He'll put it up and put it in. Nice inbounds play. Dom Leper with another two to make it and an a excuse me nine point game. Richards on the right wing finds Bell. It's Drew going to feed the post to Beck. Beck with a height advantage misses the shot. The rebound down to Duckles for Carlinville. 322 to play. Duckles into the front court near the center circle. Down by nine with 3.15 left. Not a particular hurry. Thompson kicks to Duckles. Duckles will hand it to Dunn. Dunn nice inside, puts it up and won't go. And Austin Struby secures the board for the Trojans. It's not going to happen, is it? Not going to get closer than eight. Here's Richards on the dribble drive in. Puts it up at in 4 2. Back to a double digit lead for Triopia on the PCRE Real Estate and Auction scoreboard. PCRERealEstate.com. Check out all the greatest and latest listings. And now here's a reach in foul by Triopia's Bell. That's his second. Fifth foul, or fourth foul of the quarter. Carpenter will check back in. He's got four fouls himself. As Whitehead will take a seat with 2.30 to play. Triopia on top by 11. And bounce pass to Thompson. Gets it to his teammate in Aleppo. And he'll head to the free throw line to shoot two. Richards be whistled for his third. Rich Thompson not pleased with the defensive effort of his squad on that possession. As Aleppo will go to the line 4-2, a chance to put some points on the board for his squad with no time running off the clock. Aleppo gets the first to go. He's in double figures with 11. Noggle in as he'll sit down Smith. And Aleppo will have one free throw remaining. It is in the air, and it is good. Nine-point game. 2.27 to play. Carpenter with the basketball. Works it on the wing to Struby. Struby's a very steady player for this trophy squad. He'll drive inside, put up an off-balance shot. No good. Rebound back, put back up, and in. Got it over the top of the smaller defender and puts the Trojans back up by 11. First points in some time. For Beck, as he has 10 points now, only two of those in the second half of play. A couple of misses by Carlinville, and Beck now grabs the defensive rebound. Tropia trying to burn a little clock here up by 11 with 149 left. And a foul out front. Dunn will be whistled for his third. That'll be the fourth foul 
of the quarter. And we got a whistle and a timeout. It's an Adams Network timeout for top-notch local computer sales and service. Call Adams Experts, 217-214-3423. Sports families, come check out Central Valley Sports, the new facility in town. Located three miles south of Winchester at 520 Winchester Glasgow Road. Batting cages, pitching mounds, pitching machines, and more. Open to all ages and skill levels. The facility is available for team rental, individual membership, and family memberships. Be sure to check out the Central Valley Sports Facebook page for more information and stay up to date on individual lessons and camps offered throughout the year. Hey, grab me one, too. Forty-four left. Carlinville took the timeout. They're down by 11. Traupia will have the basketball here. And we'll inbound in the front court. To Carpenter. Trojans trying to finish out this victory. And they'll shoot some free throws now. And that'll go against Dunn. That'll be Dunn's fourth. <laughs> Fifth team foul against the Cavaliers. So it'll send Struby to the line to shoot two with a minute 36 to play in the ballgame. Back here on Monday night in this same gym as Struby gets the first to go. Monday night, 6-15, Camp Point Central in Calhoun, and then Route and Greenfield Northwestern at 7:45 and two winners bracket quarterfinals. Struby gets them both. He's got 14. And the lead is 13. 33 to play in the contest. Sawyer Smith has picked up the dribble. Hands it off to a leper and do a double team. Out of it on the pass down low. Goes off of Beck's leg and out of bounds. It'll stay with the Cavaliers underneath. Curlip has not had a lot of success in this tournament since they joined in. There's the ball uh, stolen away. By Carpenter. And a foul. Dunn's going to foul out of this ball game with five points. And he's going to send Struby back to the line. Struby is three for four from there in the contest. As Cole Sullivan will check back in. Struby just knocked down a pair from there on the last trip down the court for the Trojans. Knocks down the first. Give him 15. And it's tied his team's largest lead of the ball game at 14 points. And has now given them their largest lead of the game at 15. Trojans let him within eight a couple of times, but have uh, really done the things the right way here in the fourth. Here's a three put up, no good. Rebound down to Stribby with under a minute to play. No reason for Carlinville to foul now. Down by 15 with under a minute left. Richards with it. He has it poked away from behind, stolen away. Into the front court on the run out is a Lepra. He'll put up the layup. It's up and good. To make it 52 39. Lepra is the only Cavalier in double figures in this one. He's got 14. Ball nearly stolen away. Richards has it. Finds Carpenter's. Is here. Take good this. Hands there from Carpenter. Let me throw it at you 100 miles an hour from four feet away. 20 seconds left. Day number one of the 101st Winchester Invitational Tournament. Nearly in the books here. 13 seconds on the clock. No upsets in round one. Coaches look pretty smart right now as they've uh, picked them right. To this point, Traupia wins this one over Carlinville, 52-39. We take you to the Blessing Health System post-game show with final stats and our player of the game next. The heart is the hardest working muscle in your body. If something goes wrong with it, you need a medical team that works just as hard. You need Blessing Health's Open Heart Surgery Team, celebrating 20 years of delivering life-saving care to tri-state residents. 
patients and families choose Blessing Health's Open Heart Surgery Team for its experience, quality, and heartwarming compassion. Get the most out of your hardworking heart. One size fits all. That may be all right for an adjustable belt or cheap sunglasses, but when it comes to your financial needs, no one wants a one size fits all strategy. Derek Harris is your Pike and Adams County area Edward Jones financial advisor. Derek Harris's most important goals are yours. That's why Derek will take the time to understand your needs so he can recommend personalized strategies with your goals in mind. Contact Derek Harris today at 217-222-7173. Knowing you, that's how Edward Jones makes sense of investing. Member SIPC. Welcome back on the Blessing Health System postgame show. Triope wins this one, 52-39 over Carlinville. Trojans advance to play Grigsville Perry on Wednesday night at 8.30. Carlinville will come back on Wednesday at 7 o'clock to take on Brown County in a uh, consolation quarterfinal here from the Winchester Invitational Tournament. And Damon Emmerich has some final stats. Well, Triope led this one from start to finish, led by as many as 15 points late in the ballgame. No ties, no lead changes. Individual scoring, leading scorer for the Cavaliers was Dom Aleper with 14 points. For the Trojans, they had three players in double figures. K.J. Beck with 10, Evan Bell with 11, and Austin Struby led the way in the ballgame for the Trojans with 16 points. It's time to name our player of the game. It's presented by Edward Jones financial advisor, Derek Harris. Financial investments are important. But so are the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, parents, and mentors. Derek Harris, your Edward Jones financial advisor, understands this. That's why Derek Harris is a proud sponsor of the player of the game on Central Illinois Sports. How about the steady play from Austin Struby in this one as he helps lead the Trojans to the victory and on to the championship bracket quarterfinal of this Winchester Invitational Tournament. That's going to do it from day number one of the 101st Winchester Invitational Tournament. Action for you on Monday. At 615, Camp Point Central in Kowloon, followed by Route in Greenfield Northwestern. We certainly hope you'll join us then for another Central Illinois Sports presentation. <laughs>